Good day. We're continuing with our advice letters written by Samuel Richardson, who lived from 1689 to 1761. There are letters on all kinds of advice, from, from love to relationships to work, money. If you want to know how to support the, the channel, please see the video description. And now our letter from a maid servant in town acquainting her father and mother in the country with a proposal of marriage and asking their consents. Honored father and mother, I think it my duty to acquaint you that I am addressed to for a change of condition by one Mr. John Tanner, who is a glazier and lives in the neighborhood by us. He is a young man of a sober character and has been set up about two years, has good business for his time, and is well beloved and spoken of by everyone. My friends here think well of it, particularly my master and mistress, and he says he doubts not by God's blessing on his industry to maintain a family very prettily. And I have fairly told him how little he has to expect with me. But I would not conclude on anything, however, till I had acquainted you with his proposals and ask your blessings and consents, for I am and ever will be your dutiful daughter. Now, the next letter is a reply from her parents. Dear Nanny, we have received your dutiful letter. We can only pray to God to direct and bless you in all your engagements. Our distance from you must make us leave everything to your own discretion. And as you are so well satisfied in Mr. Tanner's character, as well as his friends and your master and mistress, we give our blessings and consents with all our hearts. We're only sorry we can do no more for you, but let us know when it is done, and we will do some little matters as far as we are able towards housekeeping, our respects to Mr. Tanner. Everybody joins with us in wishes for your happiness, and may God bless you, is all that can be said by your truly loving father and mother. And now here's a letter whereby the young lady, Nanny, is acquainting her parents with her marriage. Honored father and mother, I write to acquaint you that last Saturday I was married to Mr. Tanner and am to go home to him in a fortnight. My master and mistress have been very kind and have made me a present towards housekeeping of three guineas. I had saved twenty pounds in service, and that is all. I told him the naked truth of everything, and indeed did not intend 
to marry so soon. But when I had your letter and showed it to him, he would not let me rest till it was done. Pray, don't straighten yourselves out of love to me. He joins with me in saying so and bids me present his duty to you and tell you that he fears not to maintain me very well. I have no reason to doubt of being very happy. And your prayers for a blessing on both our industry will, I hope, be a means to make us more so. We are and ever shall be with respects to all friends, your most dutiful son and daughter. I hope you enjoyed this letter, or three letters actually, and I bid you farewell till the next time.